Hi everyone, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations. This week I'm going to show you how you can make a wine bottle holder with some glasses on top. Let me show you how I did it. The first part we're going to work on is the bottom of the design which holds all of our wine bottles. Now this is very simple, it's made of five triangles so it's rinse and repeat on all of the steps. So we're going to set our table saw fence to 160mm and our blade to a 60 degree angle. Now by setting our blade at a 60 degree angle it will result in a 30 degree angle on our plywood. So then we can run our plywood through, cut a whole bunch of strips and then we'll head over to the mitre saw to get them cut to length. So let's get going. my strips cut. Now my plywood I know I'm going to be able to get the three strips out of each for each triangle so I've cut five strips in total. It's also important to note while we're here is that my 30 degree angles run into each other like a picture frame which means when you're cutting your angles on the table saw you actually need to flip your plywood after each cut and have the previous angle that you've cut running up against the fence. I am now going to cut these to length which is 250 mil. I'll set up a stop block on my miter saw and get cutting. We have now got all of our pieces cut for the bottom part. So we've got our 15 pieces to make up five different triangles. Now before we glue them up, what I'm going to do is sand and finish the inside of them because once you get them glued up, good luck to you trying to get finished in there. So what we'll do is we'll sand them up to 220, put some spray lacquer on top of them, and then I can get them to glue. When I get them into glue, I'm just gonna use my favorite clamp, which is blue painter's tape to hold it all together. And then once we've done that, we can start to glue it and bring this base to life. I've got all of my triangles now in glue up and while they are drying let's work on the top section which is really just a rectangle with some slots cut in it for wine glasses. It's 250ml deep by 350ml wide. I'm going to cut that on the table saw and then I can head over to the workbench and get everything marked up to cut in the slots for the wine glasses. I have now got my rectangle cut and I've also gone ahead and marked it up for you. I'll insert a shot of it here all marked up if you want to pause it to get the measurements. But basically I have even spacing in between. My wine glasses require a 10 mil gap for them to slide in nicely. If you're using different wine glasses, just take that measurement and make the adjustments if you need to. I'm going to use the jigsaw to cut out the lines and I'm going to run a straight edge as well to make sure that I can try and get the jigsaw as straight as possible. As I'm cutting across the grain, I will also put down blue tape just to try and minimize my tear out. My triangles have now been in glue for two hours so they are ready to come out and then we can start to glue them into their spots and where they belong. So I reckon let's get this blue tape off and let's get our next set of glue up so we can get to the end where we can put our top on and hang our wine glasses.
the next morning and I think we can safely say that winter has hit Sydney because it is very chilly this morning but I am going to push forward. So I need to get these out of clamps, I need to get some gaps filled up with wood putty and then I can give everything a sand. I think I'm also going to put some white stripe design across the top that is pretty classic small fry creation so I think that's what I'm going to do and then we can move forward to getting the top on. I've got my base drying over there and while I'm doing that I'm going to work on the holes for the dowel for the top parts. So I've measured in 15 mil from each side and 20 mil up from the top and the bottom. I've got a half inch forstner bit. I'm going to drill all of my holes all the way through and then I will use this as my template to mark the bottom part and then I'll drill the rest of the way through. That is it for this one guys. Everything is glued up and a couple of coats of finish have been applied. So I hope you have liked this video. If you have, help me out by hitting those subscribe and like buttons down below. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. But I say, let's go and get some sweet finishing shots of this guy and I'll see you next time.